guys welcome back to another video it's been so long so i'm really excited to be back and making more videos but this week is just going to be a little denim collection haul so i just recently went through my closet i think i got rid of about 10 pairs of levi's and jeans so these are the ones that sort of made the cut i'm going to do a try on and kind of tell you where i got them how much i paid and then also i have one pair of pants to show you as well i'll be using the by for amber bag throughout all the outfits. I'm just gonna keep this plain tube top on. I've been obsessed with tube tops this whole summer, so yeah, I hope you like it, and let's get into it. Okay, so the first pair of, these are gonna be actually the only pants in the try-on, but these are from a brand called A Goldie. I just got them in. I think they're a smaller LA-based brand. I know they make their clothes ethically and sustainably, so yeah, I think they're really cute. I'm just a little worried that they might be a little bit too big just around the waist area. Yeah, they're faux leather pants. They're straight leg. They have a little bit of a crop. I've been trying them on with the by far heeled sandal. I'll show you those with almost all the jeans here. I just think that they're really cute and they go really good with denim, but yeah, these are the A Goldie. They're faux leather pants. They're super, super Super comfortable they make absolutely no noise when you walk I'm always worried about that yeah but these ones are really cute I really like them and these are gonna be the only pants in the try on okay next is gonna be just these pair of Levi's that I ended up getting at Goodwill I got them tailored but they are just 550s I think they're really cute I got them to be straight leg they are still a little bit baggy and I like them with tighter tops and I'm also doing them with a by far heeled sandal here but this is going to be the last black pair of jeans in the try on okay so next we're gonna move into the only pair of white denim these are from redone so redone they also they redo Levi's but they also have like their own brand of jeans where they aren't Levi's and these are one of them just the redone original jeans these are in the size 25 these are dirty. I guess I'll show them to you anyway. But these are a frayed hem. They're a little bit cropped. And again, the by far heeled sandal. I think that these are really cute. They're really flattering, but they do stretch out a little bit throughout the rest of the day. So I feel like I have like a really good three hours with them. And then they kind of fit, I mean, just okay on me, but I do still think that they're really cute and I do wear them quite a bit. Also, really quick sidebar. So I ended up getting new sunglasses in and I think they're really cute, but let me know if you think they're too wide on my face. So these are the Reality X and they're called turtle. They're just tortoise shell on the side. So are these cute, not cute? I mean, let me know what you think. I'm leaning towards keeping them. I really, like I love tortoise shell. I think it's so cute. I just don't know if they're a little bit too wide and it's kind of hard to look in the mirror with sunglasses on because it's just, I don't know. I feel like you can't really tell. These are them. They look cute on my head, but it's not the purpose of sunglasses. Okay, so next, let's move into denim. This denim I got, they're Levi's. I got a long time ago. I got them at House of Vintage in Portland, Oregon. They are 501s. These ones are not frayed, but I did get them to be tailored to be a little bit more straight leg. I just didn't like the fit, how it went down the leg. So I got them tailored. I think that they're really cute. They are cropped as well. And these ones are a little bit, like they're almost like a mid-rise on me. So yeah, these are kind of the only mid-rise that I have in my collection, but oh, that, hold on, I got them. I got the waist taken in too. So they have the darts right there. But yeah, this is gonna be the first pair of Levi's that I have in the try-on. So next is going to be my like holy grail pair of Levi's. I couldn't believe when I found these, they're 501s. I don't think that they've been tailored before and they are from House of Vintage in Portland, Oregon as well. These ones are longer, not afraid hem, and I just think that they're really cute. They're a really good length. They look really good with the Reebok Club C's. I wear them all the time with those. And then also with the by far heeled sandal but this is going to be my second pair of Levi's in the collection. Moving on, I realize all of these Levi's are really similar in color, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. These ones I also got from House of Vintage in Portland, Oregon. I ended up getting these ones on sale because they had so many holes, but I got them fixed. I think it was like five holes in total. These ones are a little bit cropped and they have a frayed hem. And these ones sit like definitely lower rise on me just because they are a little baggier, but these are the most comfortable Levi's that I have. I absolutely love them. I like pairing these with crop tops, even dressier tops. I think a corset top would be really cute too, like the Dion Lee corset. That's like one of my dreams tops to have in my collection one day and then also the by far heeled sandal 
Okay, so the last two pairs of jeans are both gonna be from Redone, and these are Redone, like repurposed Levi's. So this is gonna be the first pair. I've had these for so long. I actually, these are my first pair of Redone jeans that I ever had, my first trip to New York. I picked up a lady's pen on the Brooklyn Bridge, and I ripped these. Thank goodness it was freezing, so I ended up having like tights on as well. I had like three layers on. But yeah, these are a little bit more nostalgic for me. I really like these. They're the size 26. They're a little bit baggier, but they are really comfortable. These ones definitely have stretched out a little bit over time the more that I've worn them they are kind of they're a high rise ankle crop I believe is what I ended up buying it's not like my favorite style anymore but I still kind of keep these more nostalgia I feel like for this pair but yeah this is gonna be the first pair of redone Levi's okay, so the last jean is gonna be another pair of redone Levi's so these ones are the size 25 but they are the exact same style as the ones that I just showed you they're just a little bit tighter all around but they still are the high rise ankle crop and these ones I don't believe have a rip in them. Yeah, no rip, just a few little, these actually came with the pants, just some like stains. I don't know, I don't think it was bad. I, I think I got these on sale. So I think that's most of the time when I do shop at Redone, I do go in their sale section to see if they have any Levi's in my size. It's like a fraction of the price that you would normally pay. And then also quick tip on that website, if you don't have the Honey app for when you shop, like to check for coupons, I know that website, I'm pretty sure you can always use the code SPRING15 and it'll give you 15% off your whole order. I've never not used it and it's like a huge savings, especially when these jeans aren't the cheapest thing in the entire world. So yeah, just a little tip if you ever shop at Redone, don't forget to use that little 15% off. But yeah, this is gonna be the last Levi's in the try-on. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I really hope you guys like the styling. Well, I guess not styling, because I literally just did this tube top and the amber bag the whole time, but I guess the jean collection try-on. And then let me know about the sunglasses and let me know what you guys think about the A Goldie pants. It's good to be back. I know I missed a couple of weeks. I was helping my mom move. I had a couple videos like prepared, but I just didn't end up posting them. I think I have three like just sitting on my computer. I don't know if they'll see the light of day. I mean, I guess we'll see how it goes, but it is good to be back. I have a really exciting video. Well, I'm really excited to film coming in. It'll be the last week, my last Sunday in July. So yeah, I mean, I hope you guys like this one and I'll see you next Sunday.